I've got the Mac and Mariah Carey collection to share with you guys today and I was supposed to get this like five days ago but we had a really wicked like snowstorm here like it was really bad <laughs> so it like delayed the UPS man from getting to me for for quite some time I had two days shipping and I'm an obsessed member on Mac and they, they released the collection early to like obsessed members and I would have liked to get this up before it released to everybody but right now it's kind of a bunch of it, well, the majority of the collection sold out online, but I still, I posted a picture yesterday on Instagram, and people still wanted to see a video, and then it will be coming out in stores yet. So people are still going to be able to get their hands on it at a store. Like, I'm like 600 miles away from Mac, so I always gotta order online. There should also be some other online retailers that are gonna get this collection, like uh, Macy's and Nordstrom's and stuff like that, so I'm thinking it's gonna show up online at some other places as well, just besides the MAC website soon. I also filmed a demo using all of the products that I purchased except for two lip lipsticks because I can only wear one at a time. Well, I could mix them, but. <laughs> and that will be towards the end of the video if you're interested in that. So let me go ahead and get into swatching some of these products. Um, First off, this is what the packaging on all of the products looks like. It's, re it's really reflective. <laughs> the top part's a silver glitter and then the bottom is like a brushed gold and then it says Mariah Carey. Boy, that is just not there you can kind of see it. It's not picking up too well on camera because it's so shiny. This first product is the MAC 239 brush. There is another brush, like a big kabuki that came out as well, but this is the only one that I picked up. And it's got like, you know, the sparkles. There is a seam right here, so it looks like it was wrapped with like a thicker glitter paper. The sparkles are not like falling off or showing up on my hands or anything, but it's not like l like lacquered over the top. So if you, you know, get some makeup inside and on this type of paper, it might kind of stain it a little bit or be difficult to clean. But it also has got Mariah Carey on the ferrule like that. And I did use this brush today to pack on color on my lid and it worked out just fine. And the, actually this, the hairs on this guy are quite soft. I've got some MAC brushes that are a little bit older that the, the bristles are quite stiff, com especially compared to this one. These feel really, really soft. I mean, there could have been a little bit more... Um, attention to detail when they were kind of putting the end together because there's a few there's a few little stray hairs but I can always pluck them out. <laughs> I also purchased the Touch My Body Loose Powder. There's 0.51 ounces of product in here. The container is it's a pretty good size. Um this has got if it's got like a paper the whole container itself is um cardboard um but the outside does have that type of like glitter paper feel. It's not as grainy feeling as the with the wrap on the brush, however, it's a little bit more smooth. I'm gonna, I wonder if you can see it better back here. These things are so shiny, like, oh, there you can kind of see it. It says, you know, got the Mariah Carey on the lid right there. So I'll pop the top off, and then you've got a relatively large size little poof, and then there's the product right there. And this, this is really pretty. It's, it's a shimmering bronze with a, a red undertone, and I, I patted it on my neck today, but I can see myself lightly patting this on my face as well but I wonder let me try to get the can, is that showing up sort of kind of I suppose it won't show up here but it's a really pretty product it's gonna be a great one like if you're for the holidays dressing all fancy and you want to put something pretty on your like collar wounds and stuff it's a really pretty powder I did grab a little bit more product to try to show you guys there but it's, it's a really gorgeous powder, like all over dusting shimmer. And then out of the two blushes, I was going to get both of them, but I, I read on Temptalia that the pink one wasn't that good. I can't remember what she rated this one, but I've got tons of pink blushes anyway. So I went ahead and grabbed the Sweet Sweet Fantasy. I also like the name because <laughs> that's one of my favorite songs from Mariah Carey. Uh, 0.21 ounces, like standard uh, MAC size. So it's got the Mariah Carey and like the brushed, um, it's like a brushed gold look to it. And then this is a, does it say the finish? It does not. Uh, I'd call it a satin. It appears kind of matte, but there are some really, really tiny sparkles in there that are hard to see. So I, I would kind of call it a satin uh, blush. And I, just a little bit on this, it showed up really nice. My hands are dry as the desert, just saying. <laughs> so there is Sweet Sweet Fantasy. I was going back and forth and back and forth on if I should have got both of the quads or just one. And I ended up just getting one and it's the It's Everything eyeshadow times four. The packaging has got a silver border on it. Again, it's got the brushed gold feel to it. And the eyeshadows in this guy are Diamond Butterfly, which is a frost. I'd Give My All, which is a luster. 
Twinks, which is a Velux Pearl, and Images of Rapture, which is a Velux. And I think that, I feel like Twinks, I've heard that one before, so that might be a repeat in here. I kind of would have liked to bring in another color, but I wanted to stick to just using the products that I have from the collection on the look. So this is what I have in my eyes. You're probably going to get some reflection because there's, you know, the shimmer underneath the brow bone because that's the lightest shade that's in here. So let's go ahead and swatch these guys. This one here is like, it was the chunkiest. There's some glitters in there. And that one actually is the one that I had the fallout with. I really didn't have fallout with these other ones. And compared to the eyeshadows that are coming out nowadays with that creamy dimethicone type feel, it's, it's really making MAC shadows feel a lot drier. However, when I use these today, I really didn't have a problem picking up product or blending product. So let's go ahead and swatch these. And these are just these are the four colors that I have on my eyes today, and I just stuck to this quad, and it came out looking really nice. I think it, um, the whole collection ties together really well. This next product is the one that I feel like everybody kind of wanted, and this is the My Mimi Extra Dimension Skin Finish, um, 0.35 ounces, which is pretty standard. The packaging again is the brushed gold, and then inside here is the product. Like <laughs> when I went to use this today, I was like, should I do it or should I not do it? For two reasons, because I was going to use it for a bronzer, because that's kind of, it's, you know, it's a bronzy type of feel, but I thought it was going to be too orange on my skin, and it's shimmery. Um, and then three, I didn't want to, like, start messing up the face pattern in there, but I dove in, <laughs> and I just went for it. So I did use this for a bronzer on my skin today, and I was really surprised that on the skin, when you shift it, like, with the shine, the shift, you can see the gold. But it's got more of a um, already burnt tone to it, and I really like that. I was surprised because I did hear some people saying that this product wasn't that great, and I actually really like it. The pigmentation showed up really well on me, but granted, you know, I'm, you know, the color of a piece of paper, but <laughs> I was happy to see that when it went on the skin, it didn't show up like copper or orange. It actually looked like kind of burnt. And it was, you know, it, if you can see, there's, there's quite a bit of glow on there, and then I... I should have known better, but I used the Guerlain Meteorites from last year's holiday collection, which has got uh, more shine to it, so I'm feeling really shiny today, but... <laughs> so let's go ahead and swatch this guy. I went and used the hair, because I'm trying to preserve the uh, cute little embossing that's on here. But I really like this product. I think, it, I think it's really pretty. See, like, right there, too? It looks just really orangey gold, but I was surprised, like, on my skin, it doesn't look like that. Is that weird? I think that's kind of weird, because... It, it doesn't look like that on my skin. I just feel it gives more of a, of a burnt look. I, it doesn't look copper on me, which is, it's strange because it looks really copper right there. <laughs> now to get into the lip products. I purchased one of the lip pencils and it's in the shade New Ombre. It's a pro longwear lip pencil. Again, super pretty packaging. And I do have this on and when I first started to put it on, I was like, that's really nude. Like it wasn't giving a ton of definition. So when I, I put the lipstick over the top, which is also quite nude, um, there was, it actually, there was some definition because the, the lipstick's a little bit lighter than this, but it wasn't quite enough. So I lightly went over the borders with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and I like that much better. And I feel like the two liners kind of mix, so it wasn't quite as deep as Pillow Talk, but it wasn't as light as this either. So I'll so go ahead and give you guys a swatch of this one. I kind of wish I would have picked up the other liner too but right here it looks like it's definitive when I put it on. Maybe it's because there's quite a bit of pigment in my lips that it kind of showed up quite light, but that is new ombre. And then I purchased three of the lipsticks, and I'm kind of wishing that I would have picked up that darker shade. I might try to get it online when the collections launch on, like, hopefully, like, Nordstrom's and Macy's and stuff. And then one of the shades, shades which is called All I Want, and it's a frost. I have got this from when um, they released this with... Mariah Carey, was that, was it a year ago already? But this is the shade that's also in the collection, but I just have it in the normal packaging. It is a frosty one. Should I put some over the top of this? Let's do it in the center. Yeah. Hmm. And the shade that I have on is McIzzle, and the packaging, again, super pretty. Who doesn't love, like, sparkly lipstick packaging? So this is the one that I had on, and it's pretty nude. Well, I keep saying that they're all pretty nude, except for that one frost online that I saw. So I use these two together, and you can see the lip liner is, you know, it's darker than the lipstick, but on my lips it just, it, it was a little bit less defining than I would have liked. The next one is called Bit of Bubbly, 
And this one, I put this over the top of cream cup yesterday. And this is even lighter yet. Let me wipe it off. There's a bit of remnants of cream cup. Oh, I didn't show you guys this either. This is what's embossed on there. Can you, can you see it? It's a butterfly. I love, I love attention to detail when it comes to makeup. So here is a bit of bubbly. And that is nude nude. So... And then the last shade is Darling, <laughs> which she says all the time, well, based on what I see on TV, but this is, I think, my favorite shade. It's got a little bit more pink in it than the other ones. So we'll put this guy, put it right here. That's really light as well. I didn't even swatch that guy yet, but... So there are the four lipsticks right there and the liner that I got. You can definitely dupe a lot of the colors in the collection, but it's like when all the shades were brought together and then used in one and it just comes out very Mariah Carey, which, which is the point, <laughs> I'm assuming, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, if you're interested in the demo part and how I got this look on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. This probably isn't my best idea, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to use this as a bronzer, and I'm going to take that on a Chikohoto, um, nope, this is a Hakuhoto powder brush. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do it in the hair to try to conserve the pattern. <laughs> so we're going to take this on the cheeks here. That's actually showing up a lot more red on my face than it looks like it is. This looks like really coppery orange. And that, well, it's got a shift of gold, but it kind of looks like it's got some red in it. But I'm definitely going to buff that out. <laughs> Put a little bit through here. This actually has a sunburn look to it. From in here, it doesn't look like it would look like that on the skin, and I really like it. We're definitely going to buff this all out. This is just kind of how I put product on my face, I guess. I'm going to use a Goss number 14 brush in the Sweet Sweet Fantasy Powder Blush. It's like a coral shade. Well, it's kind of a rosy coral, actually. A little bit of that goes quite a ways. I'm gonna go ahead and blend my highlight uh, downwards. I don't pick up any more product. I just use kind of what's left over on the brush. Using a larger Hakuhoto powder brush, I'm going to use the Guerlain Meteorites. This is from the holiday collection last year. I'm going to really buff this all over my face. Uh, my skin's really, it's really dry. It's been in the like negative uh, temperatures, like daily temperatures, been below zero for like a week and a half. It's just like, it's my skin is really dry. So we're going to buff this out. And you guys are probably wondering, why are you putting powder on it? <laughs> I do spritz my face with like a hydrating um, facial mist afterwards but let's go. I'm gonna really give this a good buffing I'm gonna take the touch my body loose powder and I'm gonna kind of tip it upside down this is what it looks like so it's on the puff and I'm just gonna put this kind of on my neck I used like a darker setting powder today too. I didn't know it was going to be that dark, so I'm going to probably look <laughs> extra glowy and bronzy, but that is really pretty. Now I'm going to dip into the eyeshadow palette. The one I got is It's Everything eyeshadow palette, right? Yeah, and these are the four shades that are in here. And then I did manage to get my hands on the brush, which is I think the 239. So I'm going to use this guy. Let's do... Let's do this one here. I want to use all of the, I just want to stick to this palette and use all of the colors in here. So I'm going to go in with this, this brown shade. It is Twinks, which is a Velux Pearl, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly. And I'm going to pack this on the center. Well, yeah, let's do center. And then, well, yeah, that'll be all right. I'm going to use the same brush. I did kind of wipe it off a little bit, but I'm going to keep that um, dark on there because I don't want this to be quite, I want it to be brighter, but I don't want it to be a super contrast between the brown and this one. So I'm going to pick up this color. It's called Diamond Butterfly and it's a frost. 
I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to set it kind of right, right where I started the brown and then bring it inwards so that it fades nicely without having to like bring in another color. Now I'm going to go in with a gloss number six brush and dip into this color which is called Images of Rapture and it's a Velux. So I'm going to go into that guy and we'll use this one in the crease. Then I'm going to take a Hakuhodo J5523 brush and go into this top shade, which is called I Give My All, and it's L? Luster? Is that, does that mean luster? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to blend the, um, the crease shade out with that. I'm going to start, you know, right below it and then fade it upwards. Without picking up any more product, I'm going to go back in with that Goss 6 and run it through here. Then I'm going to use this Hakuhoto brush and go back into that shiny shade and put that underneath the brow. Then I'm going to use that J5523 again in that, this like, I guess it's like a mid-tone gray and I'm going to fade that up higher now that the lighter shade is down. I suppose because of that, that shine it's going to look going to be a little bit harder to see with the lights reflecting off it, but I'm going to go in one more time with this color and put some more of that on the on the lid here. So there's the shadow on. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. Uh, the lip liner that I picked up was the new Ombre Pro Longwear Lip Pencil from the collection. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with that. I'm going to fade it in a little bit too because I don't know how how well the lipstick is going to match up with it, which probably will because same collection. <laughs> oh, that is a lot more nude than I thought it was going to be. That's really nude. Dang. Oh, I wish I would have got the other one. The lipstick that I have is McNizzle. McIzzle. There is no N. <laughs> McIzzle. <laughs> and it's a cream sheen. This is what the color looks like. I feel like I feel like this would have looked prettier with uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. The lip liner is just a little bit less defining than I would have liked, so I'm going to lightly go over it with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. And there's the overall finished look, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later.